Caleb Ask the Pros. Today I will be interviewing soccer player Claire Faulkner. Claire is a pro soccer player that has played for Bayern Munich in the Women Bundesliga, the Houston Dash in the National Women's Soccer League, and teams such as Logroño and Sevilla in the Primera División in Spain. She also played for the U.S. Women's National Team under 23. Today, I have a special guest. My little brother, Kala, will be asking the questions because he has a special relationship with, with her, as Claire was his soccer coach when she lived in Houston. Kala? Hi, Claire. Are you, having a good day? Are you having a good day today? I am. I am. Talking to you, I'm having a great day. This is a question, and it's our first one for today. Claire, would you like to say a couple things about yourself for the people that may not know you? Well, just like Caleb said, he said a lot about my <laughs> soccer resume. Um, I also, so I grew up in Dayton, Ohio. Um, I played soccer um, for most of those years. And then I went to the University of Florida, uh, played there for four years. And then after that, that's when I went to Byron. Um, I played there for about a year and then two years in Houston and then um, after Houston I went to Lebronio and then now I'm here in Sevilla so um, other than that I mean you pretty much said most of it. <laughs> how you how you how did you became in, interested in playing soccer? So in my family no one knew anything about soccer um, and where I grew up, there wasn't a lot of people playing it um, when I was younger. I started probably around probably like eight, um, and I got involved because my friend was playing, and um, her her dad was creating a team and needed players. And um, my me and my friend played other sports together, so they invited me to join the team. And I love being active, so um, once I started playing or once I joined the team. I really fell in love with the sport. Did you play other sports growing up? I did. Um, my top two sports uh, ended up being soccer and basketball. But before that, I played softball and I swam. And I was just always active. I was playing with the boys in the neighborhood and um, always playing with some kind of ball. What is your favorite position to play? I like midfield, which is where I'm playing right now. Um, I like it because I can play both sides of the ball. I can play defensively, um, but I also can get involved in the attack. Who is your favorite soccer player? This is really hard. Um, on the female side, I would say Carly Lloyd. And then on the male side, I would say um, Bernardo Silva from uh, Manchester City. Is there a difference of style of playing in Europe and in the USA? Yes. Um, I would say in the United States, it's more phys physicality, athleticism, and speed and power. And I would say in Spain and in Europe, they like to possess more of the ball. Um, and it's more tactical and technical. Um, but it depends on where you're playing, what country, and what team you're on. Because every team, um, they run it differently. How is it playing soccer in Spain? I love it. Um, I think Spain is a very warm and welcoming culture. Um, I, I like the people. I like their mindset and perspective on life and um, their passion for football. And then football-wise, I like it because um, – they like to possess the ball more and it's more tactical and technical and I like that. How, how do you, how, wh what do you do for fun that is not related to soccer? <laughs> um, well, I like to read and currently I'm studying Spanish. So I mean, for some people that might not be fun, <laughs> but I like enjoy those things. I like anything that helps me grow as a person. Um, but when I can, 
um, and before the, the virus and everything, I like to travel. I like to see different cultures and I like to see the world. How, how are you training now that you can't train with their teammates? <laughs> so <clears throat> I've been basically running on a rooftop. <laughs> There's a little space. So I've been running circles or um, back and forth. Um, I've also been doing a lot of workouts in my house. Um, and then I'll take a ball up there to the rooftop and I'll get touches in or find a way to um, still do things with the ball. But it's hard. It's limited space, so I just use what I can. <laughs> For those that are watching, and are you interested in becoming a pro soccer player, can you tell us some information what to do, where to begin? So I think for me, the most important thing is um, if soccer is your passion and you have desires and a passion to play professionally, I think the key is to always um, have a ball at your feet or always get involved or find games, pick up games uh, to play in. I think the key is um, everyone's journey is different and everyone has different resources and different people that help you um, get to where you need to go. So I think the key is to always be open to new opportunities and just keep following your passion. There's always going to be ups and downs throughout the whole journey, but if you really want it um, and you want to play professionally, I think um, you just have to take those moments as lessons and be able to um, en endure the hardship and keep chasing your dreams. Now it's time to play the game. This game is called Impossible Decisions. You will get two decisions and you can only choose one. I will be asking the first three. Kalo will be asking the last three. So this is our first question. Would you rather live in a world that you can only play baseball or basketball? Basketball. This is our second question. Would you rather live in a world where you can only have music or only have internet? Remember, if you don't have internet, you won't have Google Maps, you won't have social media, and you won't be able to stream. I think music. I have, uh, I love music. <laughs> so this is our third question. Would you rather live a 1,000 year life as yourself or live 10 random 100 year lives? I think I'd rather live as myself. This is our fourth question. Would you rather live in a world where you can only choose your hairstyle or or you can only choose your clothes? Hairstyle. This is our fifth question. Would you rather score an own goal and win the game or miss a penalty kick off and lose the game? I think the missed penalty. This is our sixth question. Would you rather be invisible or would you rather time travel? Time travel. So that was our last question. Thank you for doing this interview and answering all these questions. Is there anything else you want to share with us before I let you go? No, thank you for calling and interviewing me. I appreciate that. So to those who are watching, thanks for tuning in. And if you'd like to see any of our previous videos, go to our YouTube channel, JC Sports Houston. You will be able to find other sports videos, fun sports videos, and other interviews. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.